This is a recording about how to make this particular swivel stool in friction, uh, sorry, <laughs> in Fusion 360. Uh, I guess the way to think about it is the legs go into the base, a bearing sits in the center of the base on top, there's a shaft through the bearing, another bearing uh, in the top of the stool, and then the top of the stool can rotate freely. So if you want to take a screenshot of that, uh, do so now. Otherwise, we'll move on. Um, so the first thing that I need to do is to upload the part files. I've got the folder here uh, ready to go, which has my part files in them. And I'm going to say upload those to engineering design exercises temp I'll just wait, I'll pause it while I wait for those to upload and those have all uploaded and if I open up the sidebar I can see all of those parts. Uh, we've lost the materials on the parts, I'm not too worried about that but it might be useful to bring them back sometime or at least make it a, a wooden stool. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is bring in the seat lower. I feel like that's a kind of um, key component. Okay so it says please save this design before inserting components. Uh, so I can do that um, and I will save it as swivel stool assembly. And now I should be able to bring in that component, for example. Uh, so this is okay, it's the right way up and it seems to be centered at the origin. Um, so I'm just going to click OK and accept where that's been landed. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to make this my grounded part. Um, it's worth grounding one part usually um, because then you can be uh, reasonably confident that um, things aren't going to move around unless they're supposed to move around. If nothing's grounded then the whole assembly is free to move. Okay, next I'm going to put in the legs. Uh, one, two, Uh, cancel that. I brought in the wrong component. Two and three. And uh, they've got this fillet on the bottom, so this end is the top. What I'm going to do is straight away uh, put them into the stool uh, using uh, joints. And what I want to do is make sure that the top of the stool leg uh, there matches up with the insert in the hole there. I'm holding down control sometimes uh, just so that I can make sure I'm definitely picking the right option. And the other thing that I'll do is to have a look and say, does it look right? Well, I think it does. Um, okay. Uh, next, add another joint. Again, I want to make sure that that center of the stool leg matches up with that center of the hole that's been made for it. And I, again, I'm just choosing rigid joints here. I don't need anything um, to um, to move in terms of the stool legs, I want them to be fixed. We'll come later to other types of joint. And the third leg. And I'll say OK. Good. Uh, next, we need a bearing to sit in this hole here. I'm going to rotate. I don't need to rotate that 
there's never a need to worry too much about how you place things at the start of an assembly. You can always move them later. So let's leave it there and then apply another joint. And I'm going to say this center here, uh, which I think is the center of the part of the bearing that reaches out furthest, should match up with that center there. And we just take a look. Does that look all right? I think it does, yes. And I've made that rigid. Uh, but now I'm going to put the shaft in. Uh, I'll just move it so I can see it. And now what I want is to add a joint between that center and the center of the underside of the um, bearing. But you can see it's the wrong way around there. So I'm just going to click flip and that seems to be about where I want it. So I'm going to say OK. But first, I don't want this to be a rigid joint. I want it to be a revolute joint so that it can spin freely. And now I'll say, and it's picked out the correct axis to spin around. Uh, the software is usually pretty clever about that. So I can say, OK. Uh, next, there's another bearing to go in. And again, I'll just move it so I can be sure I'll see it. Click OK. And now we want uh, the top of the bearing. I'm pretty sure these bearings are symmetric. Um, uh, so we go assemble joint. That joint matches up with the top of the shaft there. And again, I just want to flip that so that it sits flat on the shaft. And the last thing to include is the uh, upper part of the seat. And I want one final joint. Uh, like so. And in fact, I just need to check with that joint uh, that it came out as Revolute, which it did. Um, so I think I've got all the correct motion within my assembly. And that looks like it's rotating, but not going in any other direction. Uh, the last thing I might want to do is just choose the uh, uh, I've somehow ended up with one part too many, so I'm just going to delete that. It's always useful to check the model tree. Um, that doesn't seem to have left any of my assembly unconstrained, so uh, that would have been something I might have to, had to go back and put some more joints in. Um, but I think I want these parts here. Uh, at the moment, I'm just going to change their appearance. And I'm going to change it to, I don't really mind what kind of wood. Let's make it oak. Let me just see what that said. Uh, okay. Just going to try one more time to see if I can work out what's gone wrong there. Uh, <laughs> just trying to read that um, instruction. No. Uh, well, in that case, I won't make the components oak. It may be um, because they exist outside of this assembly, so I'd have to open them up as individual components and change them. Let's just try that. If I double click on the seat lower, I'll open it up on its own, and now I might be able to say change the physical material. to uh, red oak. Okay, and that worked fine. And now if I save that and go back here and say uh, update, 
uh, using that. Not obviously updated. Um, I guess the other thing that I might be able to do is rather than change the component, change the body, but that doesn't look like it's going to work either. Okay, well, um, that's something to play around with later. There are no requirements about what this should look like on the brief, um, so I'm just going to leave this as my final answer, and I will say file uh, export. Uh, I haven't changed any of the part names, and uh, I'm going to make this uh, downloads swivel stool assembly v1 uh, export it there. And that's how I would complete that part of the test.